our premier family, and uh, Lauren is such a great talent. Uh, around the world that have gotten to know her through the evaluation weekends and from her appearance here at Premier uh, really have gained so much confidence uh, and she She is a, an amazing role model to many of the young women uh, that have met her throughout the world. Just to hear her story and her success is really awe-inspiring. So everyone, let's please bring to the stage my very dear friend, Lauren Taylor from the Disney Channel hit, Best Friends Whenever. Have a seat. So let's talk a little bit about uh, our journeys around the world. Now, yeah, we have been to a lot of it. countries. We've done a lot of cool. stuff. Some of the kids that are here today are here as a result of some of those evaluation weekends, um, and I know they're super excited to see you today. Um, some of the different experiences that you've had as an actor kind of coming up, getting the, the Disney show, uh, tell the kids a little bit of advice, like what you think is kind of the most important part of being a kid and having fun mm -hmm. and being able to kind of get out there and book these kinds of jobs and Confidence, self-esteem. Absolutely, confidence is number one. Um, I will say, uh, if you're confident and you believe you can do it, they will too. <laughs> so it's very, very important to have fun, have confidence. Don't go in there too nervous, and um, just know you can do it. And when you know you can do it, you end up doing it. So the uh, tell tell the kids a little bit about your experience because I know that they want to hear what it was like to audition for a Disney show, and then what it was like to get a Disney show. Um, you know what, it's definitely a very long process. Um, not enough people know that, uh, but my process was extra long because we ended up shooting a whole pilot for a completely different show that ended up turning into the show that um, I'm on now. And um, so it's, it starts out with an audition, and then it turns into a callback, and then a screen test, and then they bring in a bunch of different people and test a bunch of different people. So For chemistry reads. For chemistry reads, of course. And, um, and then they shoot a pilot, and you don't even know if that's going to get picked up. So it's a very long, grueling process. So the most important thing is to remember to have fun and stay consistent and stay hardworking until the bitter bitter end. There were a lot of kids that I have met over the years, guys, who have actually said similar stories, because when you test for a Disney Channel show, it can take months before they actually decide finally on the cast and everything and put these things together. Now, you said that you were actually on a different show, so they kind of saw your skill and put you into this show. Is that kind of how it works? Absolutely. So it's very, very important to always give a thousand percent. Even if you feel like maybe it's not the right project for you or literally anything because they will see who they like and they will pick you off and they will put you into something else, you know? So it's always, always very important to always try your hardest. So sometimes the journey really is about not what you necessarily think it's going to be, but what it's meant to be. Because uh, life kind of unfolds and presents you with different things. 
Uh, some of the kids who weren't in the last group, I'm sure would want to hear what it's like in a typical day on a show. So talk about like a week on a show and Absolutely. Um, a week on a double space sitcom, which would be your average Disney or Nickelodeon television show. Uh, Monday, you'll have a table read, which is where everybody will sit down and you'll read the script together to see what works and what doesn't. Then the writers will go home and rewrite. On Tuesday, you'll do a rehearsal, you'll rehearse the whole show, and then you'll perform it kind of similar to a play for the producers. And they'll take their notes and then rewrite it. Then on Wednesday, you rehearse it a, th a second time. And then um, the executives, Disney executives, will all come in and watch you perform it. And then Thursday and Friday, you'll shoot. So it's very, <laughs> there's a lot of rewriting, which is why it's always important to be able to kind of keep your lines very fluid in your mind and be able to change them. Don't learn them too specifically because that can hurt you. So the dialogue changes are really to do with uh, network compliance, uh, wanting to make sure the message is corporately uh, all sort of approved, uh, and that the jokes are funny. Absolutely. So they're constantly changing. You'll get like at least a couple lines a page changed every and single day. And you think day. that it's, have you ever had a line taken away that you thought was funny and they just took it away and you were Absolutely. like, that's sometimes, too bad. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's sad, but you know, sometimes the network doesn't find it funny. Sometimes it's not always super appropriate. So, you know, they just have to make sure that they do their due diligence to make sure they do make the best television shows they can. Uh, do you remember where you were when you booked the job, when you were told that you got the job? I, I do. I was in the car. I was dropping my brother off um, t at work, and then I just get a call, and all of a sudden, you know, your life totally changes. That's the wild thing about this whole industry is all it takes is one day, one job, and your, com your life flips around. It's wild. Your, your social media looks really good. Uh, you're, <laughs> you're you. You're kind of like the... Uh, Social media selfie queen, I would say. Your Whoa. selfies look really good. That is that is very bold thing to say. It is, I'm a bold person. I appreciate it. <laughs> that, I mean, your selfies look awesome. Yeah, well, you know what? That's one other thing that's very important, especially in this new age of social media. You, you have to keep up on your social media. You have to keep it clean and you have to continually post. I get calls from my agent all the time, Lauren, post another picture, you know? So it's very important now even to network, network executives and, and to casting to have a following, to have a built up social media. It's wild, but that's, that's where the industry is headed now. So just make sure that you definitely, definitely keep up on that. Well guys, Lauren's gonna be here to work with you guys in groups today. Uh, again, you are in awesome hands. Lauren knows and is such an intricate part of the Premier family. Uh, so I'm very excited and thank you for being here today, Absolutely. Lauren. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. We're about to get started, guys. Thank you. Let's thank Lauren for being here today. Thank you, Lauren and Michael. At this time, participants, please make your way around the room to meet your ambassador. They'll have their signs up for each 1,000 group. Thank you.